What's good, guys? Fancy Joe back here with our week one quarterback rankings. These are four-point passing touchdowns, just so you know. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you want to stick around all season long and dominate your friends and family in fantasy football. If that's something that doesn't sound like you're interested in, don't hit that sub button. Just keep going. Uh, watch some other, somebody else, I guess. Uh, like, comment, all that good stuff. I respond to all comments. If you have a start sit, let me know. Ranked all the quarterbacks, basically. So for all those two quarterback super flex league guys, I got you. Fantasy Joe's here. Um, so yeah, let's just hop into it and talk some rankings. QB1 for week one, as you can see, Lamar Jackson against the Raiders. Uh, I think he is just going to light them up. Uh, not very inspired by that Raiders defense. I think he's going to get after him. Number two, I've got Tom Brady against the Cowboys. This might be a bit, of a bit of a surprise. I just think the Cowboys defense is really, really, really bad. And I think that Tom Brady has a lot of great passing options in that offense. I'm high on the whole Buccaneers team this week against the Cowboys. Fire them all up. Number three, we've got Kyler Murray against the Titans. Another team I think is struggling defensively. Four, we've got Patrick Mahomes against the Browns. And five, we've got Josh Allen against the Steelers. A little lower than you're used to seeing them. Really, it's just because I think Lamar and Brady have such good matchups. But firing up Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen with uh, all steam ahead, I think they're both going to have huge weeks. Six, we've got Jalen Hurts against Atlanta. Seven, Ryan Tannehill against the Falcons. Ryan Tannehill. I mean, Ryan Tannehill against the Cardinals. Another two-week defenses. Number eight, maybe another surprise. Trevor Lawrence against Houston. I think he's going to be just fine in his debut. I think he'll go for 250, at least maybe 300 passing yards, and throw several touchdowns. Use those legs a little bit. I think he'll be a, a top 10 play. Number nine, I've got Dak Prescott against the Buccaneers. Down a little bit farther than you might expect. That's just because I think this Buccaneers defense is pretty good. We saw what they did to Patrick Mahomes in the Super Bowl, obviously. I think best Dak Prescott will be fine to play. I just like some other guys a little bit better than him this week. At 10, we've got Aaron Rodgers against the Saints. Another good defense. Russell Wilson against the Colts. Uh, I just We'll see how they work out the passing volume. I still think Russell Wilson's going to be fine for fantasy, but he's not always the most consistent. Colts have a solid defense, not a great one. At 12, we've got Justin Herbert with the football team, going against the football team, obviously. Uh, they've got a really good front seven. Adam William Jackson this year, solid defense. Ryan Fitzpatrick, I'm firing him up against the Chargers. Kirk Cousins against the Bengals, another strong play. And Sam Darnold against the Jets. I'm willing to fire up all three of these players. If you drafted somebody like Trey Lance late in your draft or something like that, or a Justin Fields and are waiting for them to start, all three of these guys I think are locked and loaded plays this week. At 16, we've got Matthew Stafford against the Bears. 17, we've got Baker Mayfield against the Chiefs. Another thing I want to point out about Stafford real quick, though, against the Bears. I'm not worried about Matthew Stafford facing off against the Bears. He's got familiar, familiarity. I butchered that. Um, he's familiar with the Bears. He's played against them before. Uh, I think he'll be just fine against them, especially this new passing weapons, new offensive line, all that good stuff. 17, I've got Baker Mayfield against the Chiefs. I think he's going to need to throw a little bit more than he usually does. Odell Beckham Jr. is back. 18, we have Matt Ryan against the Eagles. 19, Tyrod Taylor against the Jaguars. 20, Jameis Winston against the Packers. If he had more passing weapons, I think I'd be a little higher on him. But they just have so many receivers down. Uh, ben Roethlisberger, I have at 21 against the Bills. Joe Burrow at 22 against the Vikings. 23, I've got Zach Wilson against the Panthers. So, yes, in two quarterback leagues, I would be firing up Zach Wilson. I think he's going to have a pretty solid debut as well. Carson Wentz against the Seahawks at 24. Tua at 25 against the Patriots. Derek Carr, the tough matchup against the Ravens. Same with Tua, a very tough matchup for him. 27, I've got Teddy Bridgewater against the Giants. 28, Jared Goff against the 49ers. 29, Mac Jones against the Dolphins. And 30, Daniel Jones against the Broncos. We don't know who's going to be started for the 49ers yet. If they declare an actual starter, I'd play them. But I honestly think they'll use a two-quarterback system, so I might wait and see. Play somebody like a Trevor Lawrence or one of those other guys I mentioned earlier if you have Trey Lance. If you guys have made it to this point in the video, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and if you have any questions or comments, any start-sit decisions, leave them in the comment section down below. I'll respond as always. This has been Fantasy Joe. Thank you for watching.